What's up guys, this is Eddie from Day All Play, bringing you another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red version. I'm happy to say that we've done a pretty good job so far of uh, preparing our team for the, the challenge ahead. Today, we are going to be taking on the Saffron City Gym, leader Sabrina, the master of psychic Pokemon. Um, and so we're going to head in here. And um, I know there's just like a certain pattern for these teleportation pads. Um, I don't really want to follow those because I want to train as much as possible while we're um, while we're on our way there. Um, I know that this won't be like the quickest journey through um, through a gym, but that's okay because I want to uh, level up Vaporeon as much as possible. So even if we have to end up leaving and, and re-coming back in, um, I'm okay with that. The good thing is that we are pretty well set up with Vaporeon uh, having Bite, which is a dark type move. Um, it's super effective against the Psychic type, which we'll face a lot of in here, um, almost exclusively. I think there may be a Chandler or two where they have Ghost type, but I think dark type is even super effective against those, so no concern there. We are in good shape. Mr. Mime has a higher defense than I thought he would. Special defense, anyways. I believe dark type moves affect uh, special defense rather than physical defense. I I don't know for sure though. I would assume so. Um, but bite that seems like a physical move to me. <clears throat> so if you guys have been having a pretty good week, uh, I have. It's, uh, the week leading up to Thanksgiving is always exciting for me. Um, actually, this will be one of the first Thanksgivings I get to spend at home um, in a while, about six years. Um, so kind of excited about that, cooking some, some turkey and some side dishes to go along with that. And, I love Thanksgiving. It's a good time uh, get to see all the family and, and be together with all of them, which is always good. Uh, no, I have no qualms with that whatsoever. Right, it seems like we're following the same pattern, so I'm going to break my pattern. Yeah, I think this will be Chandler, yeah. So she'll have um, Ghost. Pretty sure dark type is still super effective. Yeah, we're in good shape there. Not, not even concerned with that. Getting back on the right track. Uh, I don't want you guys to think that Thanksgiving will affect the. Uh, amount of shows that I put out. I'm trying to go too fast here. Um, honestly, uh, it won't uh, really affect you know my productivity in that sense because I'll be putting out a video on Wednesday, uh, and I never I don't really put out videos on Thursdays, uh, anyways. So uh, you guys don't have to worry about that at all. We're fine there. I think this is one of the last trainers I can fight in this gym. Um, so I have a big surprise in store for all of you guys uh, beginning next week. Um, we're going to put out some new videos, and I don't want to spoil too much by telling you what they're going to be now. Um, so I just want you all to be aware that new videos um, are going to be coming out starting next week. Um, I am really excited. It's going to be awesome. Um, so I hope you guys can get on board with that. And uh, we'll all tune in to see some of the new stuff that we're going to be putting out. It's, I mean, it's really 
going to be um, just like a sweet, sweet time. I'm going to work this out to where I can get to Sabrina. So I think we've defeated all of the trainers in the gym. Oh, except for this one. Hmm? I was trying to do the math in my head a little bit earlier about uh, I'm already looking forward to the Elite Four and taking on that challenge. Um, and I, I don't know, you know exactly what I can expect, but I think we're in pretty good shape to, um, to really do a good job of defeating them. Uh, we have pretty much all the type advantages that we would need. Um, I don't imagine anything being too difficult for us in that regard. We should be pretty good to go. I would think, anyways. Um, it's starting to frustrate me a little bit. Just trying to get to the, the one pad that will take me there. There we go. Got it. Just a matter of guessing. So here we are. About to take on Sabrina. Like I was saying, I mean, I think we match up pretty well against any type that we're going to face in the future. We've already proven um, that we're, we're good, in good shape against uh, our rival, uh, who would be probably the, the hardest uh, one to, uh, to take on at that point. So we'll be in pretty good shape. Then again, you never know. I mean, it's always a toss-up. You know, four more times of using Bite. Now, two. I don't think we'll be able to finish out. Okay. So we're in a little bit of trouble there. Try Aurora Beam because I think Venomoth is flying. Didn't, that didn't work. It's gone Psybeam. She's using her Hyper Potions. Now, luckily, they poured out the defense is so high. I don't really have to worry about that. At least at this point. We managed to defeat it. Now we have her Alakazam to deal with. Luckily, I think she's out of hyper, uh, hyper potions. So, okay, no more bite. All right, so now we have to deal without the Porygon. No problem. Charizard can take on that pretty easily. Awesome. And get the Marsh Badge. Awesome. Let's see if anybody can learn the move that she just gave us. The Psychic is pretty much the one element we're missing from our game. Is that what it is? No way she just gave us. Oh, it's calm. Fine. That's it. Uh, that's not really important to me. I don't really care about that. Now it's just a matter of getting out. So I'm going to just take on Sabrina fairly easily. Get our Marsh badge without much of the Let's take a look at our trainer card, actually. We haven't done. 
then we have six badges. The Boulder Badge, the Cascade Badge, the Thunder Badge, uh, Rainbow Badge, the Soul Badge, and the Marsh Badge. Now we're going up for our Volcano Badge, if I'm not mistaken, against Blaine. And they're down in Cinnabar Island. Uh, and I'll show you on the map where that is and where we'll be heading next. Open up the town map. Cinnabar Island is actually this little island right down here. Now there's two ways to get there. Uh, the first of which is back through Pallet Town and surf on down. Um, the next is uh, over here in Fuchsia City and actually uh, traveling down south to the beach there and then surfing all the way over this direction. So, um, a couple of different options there. I'm not sure which one we'll take on yet, but um, you never know. to decide which one we're going to go to. I can't, can't really decide. I think the easiest way um, would just be to fly back to Pallet now. We haven't been to it in a while. Um, and to travel down that way. You know what that'll mean is we'll be facing a lot of water type. It's a good opportunity to train the Raichu. Up to where we need him to be. Surfing this nice little uh, segment right here. Surf on down. Pretty much with this, uh, you can just uh, travel by water. Um, and your main direction is just going south. Um, so there's really not much of a chance of getting lost or anything like that. One problem I have is I can't battle trainers on land while I'm in the ocean. I don't know why that is, but that's just the way it is. So. Let's First army we faced since the one that kicked our tail that belonged to Misty way back when. We still had a Pikachu and we were trying to fight for our second badge. Seems like so long ago. We've been on kind of a roll since then though. I think we've done pretty well with training up and that was really the one downfall of choosing Charmander to start out with is um, we didn't really have the opportunity to uh, have a type advantage against Misty. Um, and in fact we had a disadvantage because it's fire type, you know, there's no really good opportunity. And Water Pulse is such a, a good move, I still use it with a Boreon. Um, episode should be right around half an hour, I would think. Um, it seems to be a good episode length. So. Well, what is really training at this point? So we're gonna get down to Cinnabar Island, and there's some stuff that we gotta take care of down there before we can face Blaine, but um, we should be able to knock that out in the next episode, I would think, on Wednesday. And be primed and ready to get our final badge. There really isn't a whole lot left to, to do after that. I mean, we go through Steely 4 and then really we can end it there. Um, so you guys have to go ahead and start you know, posting down below what you think in terms of um, you know, 
T. You want me to continue on after we beat Neely Pool? Or should we move on to some other games? And I think that decision will be made a little bit easier once you uh, all see the surprise that I have brewing for you um, here in the next couple of days. So next week is whenever we'll start with that. Um, I'm so excited about it. I wish I could tell you, but I can't. <laughs> I just had a thought, now would be a good time to train up um, Gloom. We haven't, we haven't really trained with Gloom at all, and once it learns something like Solar Beam, uh, I think I would be ready to evolve it. I'm going to switch Gloom out and just see how it fares with some of the swimmers. out with a mist move. to the gym, so we can't go up in there. What we can do, though, 
as we can go into the Milk Mountain Center. Prepare for our next challenge. Which is going to be, and actually, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and give our fossil that we got way back in Mount Moon to Research and development, that's where we want to go. Metronome. Let's see if we can uh, Very, very high tech stoner. Wow, electrode for Raichu? I don't think so. I like our Raichu. If we have a Venonat or not. Good opportunity to get Tangle on this right very, very important. Alright, down. Alright, so we have a little bit of time before the fossil will be ready to get. But it should be fairly soon, I would think. here at the Pokemon Mansion. This is where I'm going to go ahead and cut the episode short, guys. I really appreciate you watching, taking the time out of your busy schedules to enjoy a little Let's Play with me. Uh, I want to take this opportunity to say that if you have any uh, questions or anything that you'd like me to do specifically in this Let's Play, uh, please leave them in the comments down below. Um, it really helps me kind of move forward with all of this. and um, you know, I, I really do appreciate all the comments that we do get. Um, at the same time, while you're down there, go ahead and like the video and subscribe to our channel. That helps us grow. And like I said, some new content's coming out. And you guys want to make sure that you get that as quickly as possible. Um, the other thing that I want to mention, and I haven't done this in a while, but uh, check out our Facebook page in the description below or on our Twitter account. Uh, follow us on Twitter. You can get constant updates of all the new stuff that comes out um, right to your Twitter feed. Um, and liking us on Facebook also kind of helps us grow. Uh, share it with your friends. Uh, let them know that Day All Play is here to stay and that um, we give you as, as good a content as you're going to find out there on YouTube. Uh, I really appreciate it, guys. My name is Eddie, and I'm with Day All Play. And this has been a special presentation of Pokemon Fire Red. Uh, I'll be tuning in on Wednesday for our next episode. Happy Thanksgiving. You guys are the best. Peace.